In today's video, we will go over one of the most famous integrals that we have to do in school. The integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. And without any tricks, it's really difficult to understand how to actually solve this problem when you're first attempting it. And so this video will actually go over that trick to show you how it can be solved. And the solution to this is actually very simple. We just have to use one substitution. Let's start by writing the integral on the right side of the board so we can use it. And for our substitution, we're going to use x equals tangent theta. Implicitly differentiating both sides, we get dx over d theta equals sec squared theta. Moving, moving the d theta to the right side of the board, we get dx equals sec squared theta d theta. And one more thing to note is that tan squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta. And to show this is true, let me draw a right angle triangle with lengths 1, tan theta, and secant theta. From the Pythagorean theorem, we have that 1 plus tan squared theta equals secant squared theta. Now let's substitute our values into the equation we wrote at the beginning. So we have the integral of 1 over 1 plus tangent squared theta times secant squared theta d theta. And if you recall, secant squared theta equals 1 plus tangent squared theta. So we can cancel the numerator and denominator, ending up with the integral of d theta, which is a very, very simple integral that simply equals theta plus c. And we also know from this equation right here that if we take the arctangent on both sides, we get the arctan of x equals theta. So substituting that in for theta, we get that this integral is equal to the arctangent of x plus c. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.